previously. Okay, so we are back in Humbis, our world, World 7 Pipeland, and I've since checked the recording from the previous recording session, and the audio appears to be fixed. It looks pretty good, sounds pretty good, so I don't think we're having any more issues. Now I can get on with a decent sized recording session. I don't know why I'm checking that, I've put everything away. So we're here to get resources to build this little mini grinder, and the first thing I'm going to grab are some things that I'm probably going to forget about, which would be these battle potions and a every time and a where would it be I don't see where the heck I must have some am I going blind where are my blue candles water candles whatever they're co there they are water candles let's just take one. Let's take one of these for good measure. Anything else? Sure. In fact, give me two. I want, I want two. Yeah, you can argue with me if I want two. I want two. And then we're going to want something to build it out of. Usually just regular crappy material is enough. In fact, we'll be digging an area out, won't we? So that'll be fine and dandy. We could put traps in it. Probably won't because, well, why bother? Um, don't need a hat. I don't think I need anything really, do I? I think I've got everything I need, to be honest. Battle potions. Water candle. Will increase enemies. A hat lantern, just in case I take a bit of damage. I guess I can take some torches and a... A bonfire, that's what they're called. My brain is just not functioning. That will light up the area, but also provide a bit more regeneration, yeah, just in case we do get our bums kicked. Now, of course, I could wear some armor, such as the Tidal Armor, which um, increases the enemy aggression. But that means the enemies will attack me more, rather than spawn more. So it just makes them come at me more, which doesn't really matter. I've... He just won't learn. Yeah, so the enemies won't spawn more because of that armor. They'll just attack me more, be more vicious, so... That's uh, not really an issue. I don't need anything from any of you, Walter. No! I'm, f I'm going. I don't even want to be here around you. I know what you're like when you've had a drink. Oh, right, so, to well, 2E333. Three, 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 three. I believe that is what it was called. I put one too many freeze on it, I believe. We'll get in here. Now we... de oh, running. Well, we're going underground. We've explored quite a way, so we want to just jump down and then... I guess we'll go somewhere we haven't been. That's the jungle over there, isn't it? We don't want to be in the ice. Because it will prompt icy-based enemies to attack us rather than... Uh, what are they called? Non-icy-based. <laughs> Basically, there are snow biome-specific enemies in the underground. I don't recall what they are off the top of my head, because I would just be saying hardware enemies like the Undead Vikings and stuff. But yeah, I don't want those attacking me, because they'll be taking up the spawns of the Undead Miners, potentially. And of course there's those Undead vi uh, undead Vampires, who have a chance, a very good chance in fact, of replacing I mean, crimson? Uh, whatever. As long as I'm out with the snow, that'll do. Oh, look at that. What is that? Is that a crimson cactus? I don't think... I genuinely don't think I've ever seen a crimson cactus before. That's awesome. Right, the cactus is there, but we can dig down here somewhere. Here we go, look. All the shortcuts. Don't want any of this stuff. Now, it looks like we're still kind of maybe a bit close twice. We should have to work our way through this. Same rules apply if I see a ooh, blood root type area, I'll head into it. Now, the icy biome is actually going to stop at some point, isn't it? Because 
Because, 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 we'll hit the underground layer. Hey, it's Undead Viking. Get out. See, that's what I mean. Yes, yeah, so Undead Vikings are in this. But there's more there. They appear in the snow biome. We don't want them. So as soon as we hit the cavern layer, I think it's called, this snow should stop. Should be any second. It'll be like a perfectly uniform line across of where this stuff is not allowed to spawn below. I'll create one of freaking one of these. I hit them. Right, it appears we're into one now, look. So if we just go sideways, if I can. I'm going to try just commit chock full of crap that we don't want, but let's just get out of here first before we start worrying about that. So many opportunities around here for blood root to spawn. Ooh, there's a chest there. I'll take that. So many opportunities for blood root to spawn because there are little bits of dirt all over. Look, blood root could be here. Why is it not? Uh, blood root. Damn you. I should never have made the rainbow die. Worst decision I've ever made. It was something I knew I was never going to use. Yeah, I still made it. And now the two blood roots that went into that are what I need most desperately. Sounds like getting close to ice again, so let's get out of that. And we're in this open ish area. Seems like as good a place as any, getting close to the dungeon. This place is nice and dug open already. If we just drink all the potions apart from the battle potion, which I can do by doing this, we can see a bit better. There we go. Now, if we just strip out these random bits here, look, clear out the space. Oops. Maybe cover over that lava so enemies don't drop their drops into there. Maybe then we can encourage some enemies to spawn that we want. Like the undead, well, the undead miner specifically. Not like the undead miner, exactly the undead miner, no one else. I don't want vampire miners. I don't care that you're the console exclusive variant. In fact, I hate that, that you're the console exclusive variant because you're screwing up the rest of my plans. My inventory's full. Already. Just, I mean, it's not really much I want, but. Good, good. In fact, I want clay. Clay is something I don't think I've ever really saved up on. I don't really want tungsten either. Oh, I've got a spider biome here. That's fantastic. Where did you come from? Up here? Yeah, I'll be sealing that off. You know what? I'll seal it off with tungsten ore because I don't care. In fact, you know. It should be open, shouldn't it? Just in case, just in case something spawns up there that we don't want up there, we need to open up all the potential areas that they could come from. I'll get stuck on. Not too big of an issue. It's just a pain in the rectum. I have to do this every time I make a grinder. And we're pretty much going to so follow the same old routine we do all the time. Right, I got, I've confused myself and I don't know how I managed to confuse myself, but I did. Uh, tungsten ore, let's seal this up. <laughs> tungsten ore is my new go-to thing for um, sealing stuff up. Now you, I don't like the look of you. Just in case the off chance that some something manages to fall in that. I say something, the burn pickaxe manages to fall in that. So, I think what we're just going to do is maybe, uh, let's say here. Just go out into the center of this. Is this looking good? How's this? Maybe a bit higher. So give me that back. Now all the surrounding areas that have caves in them, what we're going to want to do is open this up so that they have access here because what we're fighting may spawn inside a cave and if it does then it's going to be trapped there unable to get to us. That doesn't sound so bad except for the fact that well at that point that will stop other enemies from spawning in. Not too high. Oh well. Right. We're going to make this out of stone. 
because I want to. So we don't really need much more than this. Didn't even need it that big to be honest, but there we go. Room to manoeuvre. Now we want to find any caves and join them up. So there's some scallywags over there. You guys can get out of it. This is a nice smooth staircase for them to come up. Yes it is. And maybe down here too. That looks smooth enough for them to be able to get up. Perfect. And then over here we've got a spidery cave. That's kind of perfect too. And then like straight across maybe. There you go, I just killed a man. He was wrapped up in a spider's web. And I murdered him. I think I've been here, I think I took a coin out of there. And then I can just sit in here, can I? Maybe this thing up here too. With the diamonds? Yeah. Glad I came up here now. And then really this is what the majority of this is going to consist of. Just remember I can't place a blue candle unless I have a platform. So the question is do I have any wood? And it doesn't look like I have any wood. So that has screwed my plans up greatly. But if we're lucky and we aren't, what we could have is a pirate ship nearby. Is it pirate ship? What are they? It's like an underground cabin. I always think of them as like sunken pirate ships. Now, oh, there's one just up here, look. I think. Now, what are these? Oh, that was a slime. And that was a bat. And there's a spider. Okay, so stuff is spawning already. Now it's nice and open. So we want to go, is it just up here? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was blood drew, and it wasn't. It was just some crap. Just like bowling crew or something. I'll take that. I'll take this too. And I still didn't dot any torches around, did I? No, oh, well, I've got everything I need. Let's drop back down. Let's remove that just in case it's in the way. And that. I want to be in here. I want to then turn this wood into a platform. Remove that dirt, remove the door and the bomb and the rest of the wood, etc, etc. We'll just stick that in here. We can then place one of these on the top. Like that. Instantly increasing the spawn rate. We can knock back some of these. We can also hold that. Because apparently I was reading that there's a bug in the console version, yet again, that allows you to double stack blue candles by both having one around and holding one too. If we stack that with a battle potion as well, that's like triple uh, increase. So let's bin bin. Let's get this out. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. At least not yet. That's going to be a plan for later on. Let's um, let's just get rid of him for a second. Holy crap and early. Well, it started already. <laughs> hmm. Now, the issue with having a raven out is that it might just bugger off fly down one of these tunnels. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I know this is purely for the spiders that are here, but I need like an extra tunnel for them to come out of. Look. There they go. Is that big enough? Yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger. Just because, like I say, if there's too many enemies on screen that can't get to me and get stuck, they prevent other enemies from spawning. So I kind of really need to make sure there's space everywhere. Okay, well good, we can sit up here. Now, this is something I'm just going to leave running and come back to after a while, because uh, it's just it's one of those things, I could leave it, but this is all you'd see. Even on a fast forward, there could literally be an hour of this. Oh, look at them all down there. It's definitely working though, and that's only with one blue candle. Here's what I'll do. I was going to come and do this off camera. What I'll do is I'll just... I'll... 
leave it running for maybe 10 minutes. I can cut out any crap that no one wants to see. If I drink one of these and hold this, we should just get huge amounts of uh, stuff now. In fact, let's put one of those up there. And in fact, let's send one of these out. There we go. Look at them all! So if I just leave this for the 6 minutes and 40 seconds that are left on my potion, come back when that's run out and just see what is down there, you never know, that could be enough. Right, we are back with just about two and a half minutes left. I haven't looked down there to see what's down there, but while here I've been able to look around the map and I've noticed a couple of things, such as enemies spawning up way beyond where I thought they could, so I could definitely expand it out a bit here, let those in, and even up there look, closer to the dungeon. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so far reaching. So with that in mind, let's just well, get out of here. We don't really need... That on, we'll see if there's anything down here for it. Whoa, fair amount down here. It doesn't look like anything we care about. Wow, it really wasn't at all. Oh, I don't care about where. Right, so we know for a fact that up here somewhere, wasn't it? We can expand it. So it's like the topish corner of this behind this obsidian. That's like a horrid skull background style there. That also appears to be lots of water. Yeah, it's definitely water. Alright, we'll just skip that. We'll just go across here then. Open that up, allow things in here. In fact, we could drain that water, couldn't we, by dropping it off somewhere else. Uh, yeah, through here, sure. If we do that, uh, we would probably need to lower this somewhat. But then, yeah, that just allows another area of enemies to drop down from through to yeah that's good okay and then we had over on this side through the spider webs unfortunately hey hit move from spider webs and it was like up here was this it this is a cave, but this, was this the cave? Yeah, it looks like it was. We can also go down a little bit into this tiny one. Like so, and just open that out like this. And then we could also improve down at the bottom somewhat slightly. Uh, even here, it looks like. Just the width of this, just to allow them to get out easier. They definitely seem to get stuck quite easily. Is this the bit? Let's go drop down like that. Right, I think that. Oh, some water's dropped down here. Gross. Get rid of that. I thought I made it perfect so that water wouldn't be able to come through this way. There's a mouse! Come here, underwater mouse. I got you. What are you? A skeleton. Is that a pick up a bull? No, it's not. Oh, hey, look, I got a um, mining shirt. So we did have an uh, undead miner killed somewhere. We just don't know where. Come on, water, drain away. Good grief. That seems like so much. So we can bin that, we can bin a load of this crap, because we're just not going to want it at all. And then... Please. Please, come on. Do you know who I am? But this is going to be one of those things, as you can see, that it's just going to... It's going to take so long, and it's not going to be something that I can really improve upon in terms of... Enhancing how often they're going to come. One thing I want to do is I want to move this down a little bit lower because my raven kept spawning back up to me. I want it to spawn in this. Or maybe if I just remove the floor, then if it came up to me, it could fly back down on its own, couldn't it? I put that up there. Off center, of course, because that's how I roll. Let's just um, go like that. Go 
for such a small crappy little thing, I'm so determined to make it look a little bit nice. There we go. So I could just quite happily just grip on this, have my thing fly around. Am I wearing another... Looks like I've got two of these. Um, yeah, I can grip like that. If it flies up to me after killing stuff, it can then quite easily go back down on its own, can't it? Is this water still coming? Right, this is sickening me, so... I'm going to do this. That should really help with the flow of water. No, spiders, please. And once this water's gone, like I say, it's going to be off camera because... I mean, I've just cut out a little bit and you see how boring it is. Oh, come on, the water was gone. Why are you suddenly coming back? It was done with. It's picked up again. Come on, go, go. Just... All of this. Flip through. There we go, look. Get out of this. So skeletons don't drop what it is that I need. Is that a banner? That looks like a banner. No, it's not. Otherwise, I'll have picked it up. Yeah, skeletons... Are you kidding with this water? Are you kidding me? How is it rising? How is... Oh, it's still dripping down from above there. Okay, fine. We're cooking through into this area. We'll open this up. Open this all the way up. I'll even go ahead and dig through like this to a spider biome. There, go to your heart's content. I do not want to see any more water flooding this area down here. There we go, that's looking... So much. Is that another mouse? Is that that? That bat can take one of those. And I think we're done. I can sit here, I'll let my raven fly around, things die, etc, etc, etc. Although, if I'm here, I can't hold a candle, can I? Maybe a single block to stand on? Like that? If I put a raven up here, will it freely leave after a while? I just don't want it to get stuck up here with me. We'll see if it flies up to me again, and then... Um, if it buggers off afterwards. But yeah, I'll do this now, because then it's just, I can remove it from my list of things to do, can't I, get in the bone pickaxe. So I'll, see what's come up to me, look, is it going to bugger off and kill stuff again? There's nothing there yet, or, yeah, that works, look, it's going to leave me. Whereas before, if I'd sealed this up, it would somehow manage to get into this with me, and it couldn't get back out again. So I stand here with two water candles, drink a battle potion, and I can just leave this running for a few hours, check back on it, see what's down here. Maybe we'll have... Are you kidding with water? Are you... Are you... <sighs> Get out of it. It's a short-term solution right there. Even filled up this bloody spider biome. If we go down here, we can go into another area, and then if we go slightly to the left, we can go into another area. I don't want to see any more water around here ever again. That's so much space. There's no excuse now. Go away, piranhas. You annoy me. You bother me. Now we've got to get rid of this. Just let it all drain out. Yeah, okay, so this should be working. Everything seems to be going to go the plan. Minus the water issue. So yeah, this might be another bumper length episode again. Two in a... This would be the third in a row, actually, wouldn't it? Oh well, consider yourselves lucky. <laughs> so I'm going to stand here. I'm going to do this. I'll be back checking on it in a few hours. Or maybe every like half an hour or so, I'll just drop down, pick up what's there, and then fly back up. Do that, rinse and repeat until I get the bone pickaxe, and then we can be back at home. Or, oh, alternatively, I won't get it, and I can just go into my inventory and show you, hey, look at all this random crap that I have that I don't want. 
I'll hold on to some of these, though. Because you never know. You never know. My Riven is out. He's flying around. I can hear him killing stuff. Water is looking okay. No problems foreseen. I was really hoping to just drop down and have the item right there. Just so I didn't have to do this anymore. Okay, so I'm going to knock back a potion and I will be back. I don't know, probably tomorrow for me. Because... Life depends how long this takes. It could be hours upon hours. And probably will be. Right, drink a potion. I'll be back in a while. <laughs>